Well, hello and welcome to the Sudoku channel. This is Oliver coming to you from Yall by the Sea here in Ireland over in Europe. And I'm recording this in advance because I won't be around and I will set it for uh, a timed uh, publication. Now, this is part two of a two part series. Part one, you can find a link to part one down in the comments if you want to go back and have a look at it. And this is where we left part one. In part one, we used the basic Sudoku solving techniques and we went as far as we possibly could. And this is where I ended up. And when I did so, I noticed that there was a nice, simple little chain on the eights. If we start here and we set, if we just suppose we decide that eight is not true here. Well, if it's not true, this is a strong link, means that eight, this is an eight. Now, if that's an eight and here we have a weak link, both of these are not eights. But we take this one. If this is not an eight, we have a strong link to here, which means this one is an eight. We started on a strong link. We're finishing on a strong link. We had a weak link in between. That's a valid chain. And it means we can get rid of this. But just to prove it, not eight, then this is eight. If that's eight, then this is not an eight. And if that's not an eight, this is an eight. So this one goes. And I have a feeling this is gonna sort us out because when that becomes a three, we're releasing another one there and when this goes we have a nine so we take the nine as a start and you see when that goes we have a three up there so this is i think it's going to just keep on cascading around the place at least i hope it is uh, this three gets rid of that one that one no more in there none across there we have a seven eight and a seven eight that's a double if you haven't come across doubles before down below in the comments you'll find a tutorial there on doubles which means we can get rid of this eight here in this row down here we had another one somewhere else where's the other one the eight up here well that eight being true means we don't have an eight here and we don't have an eight here we now have a two three double on that row but getting rid of this eight here means that this is now the eight for this house. So we'll take that one. It gets rid of this one down here and that eight up there. We also had this tree waiting to be done. So we'll do that, releasing an eight there and getting rid of two trees. That eight, we'll get rid of these two. Getting rid of that one, giving us a three here. And I think, I really do think this is it. So not too difficult in the end. Just a question of making best use of the basic techniques first so that we weren't wasting time doing a whole load of court contortions trying to get everything to work. Now, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. The two here gets rid of that two, which means this will be the two for this house here. So I'll get rid of that seven. This seven here uh, gets rid of that one and two sevens down here giving us a four eight double and that four eight double in this house will get rid of that eight there and this three up here gets rid of that one and that one giving us a two four double which will get rid of that one and i think that is it i can't see anything stopping us now uh get rid of that one that's seven nothing there there's a seven up here and we have an eight getting rid of that and that and this seven in here we'll get rid of that one okay we have an eight we take the eight while it is there getting rid of these two down here and that'll actually leave a nice pair of eights there if we ever need it but i don't think we will nine oh no nine down there two gets rid of that one and that one uh, no twos down there. I thought there might be seven. Okay, seven. Nothing down there. Four gets rid of that one and two fours here, giving us an eight three double. Getting rid of other threes in the house. That is more like it. And the two gets rid of nothing, and the three gets rid of nothing, and we have a six over here. Thank God, <laughs> six gets rid of that one giving us a seven nothing giving us a two nothing so we have four eight four eight four six four six three eight three eight 
and can we get anything along here now for this we have a six here so we can't have a six there that gives us the four gone gives giving us the six that's four goes giving us the eight goes giving us the four that eight gets rid of that one giving us a three and that three gets rid of that one giving us an eight well no that was quick <laughs> wasn't it this is another example so not too difficult there was just that very simple chain once you can find these things you're all right but i suppose if you're beginning you might find it hard to find chains and things like that it was a chain but i think also it could have been called a finned sashimi now i do have down below in the comments there tutorials both for uh, simple simple singles chains uh, strong weak links and a finned sashimi so have a look at all those and see if that helps you get through it okay that's it finished um i'm going to be away for a week but if i chance i'm going to record another one for a publication when i'm away okay thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and if you do click the bell so you know when the next one is coming around you'll be notified automatically so until we meet again slán tamil